Watch until the end as I expose to you 10 reasons why narcissists gang up on you. Number 1. You threaten their sense of superiority. Narcissists love to be on top of the hierarchy, so they want power over all species. They perceive that they are only safe at their highest peak. They team up with their fellow narcissists when they see you gaining more control over them. Given their incompetence, narcissists are not self-sufficient, so they find others who will likely hate you. They will unite with their fellow self-centered maniacs to gang up on you. They only gain things in the world by taking from other people or gaining power from other people. So they choose the hard way. Number 2. Your success threatens them. Narcissists are very proud of their accomplishments and look down on others who do not have the same prestige. You pose a threat to them when you look more intelligent than they are, better looking than they are, more successful than they are. They see themselves as superior beings, and anything threatening their sense of superiority threatens their self-esteem. Because of this, they will try to undermine your accomplishments to bolster their ego. They will criticize you in front of others and belittle your work to reinforce the idea that they are better than you. They may also try to sabotage your success by spreading negative rumors about you or giving you bad reviews. Because they do not view themselves as equal to you, they have a hard time accepting the success of others. Hence, they form a formidable team to gang up on you when all else fails. Number 3. They make you their source of entertainment. One of the many insignificant reasons narcissists gang up on you is that they want you to become their source of entertainment. Like most of us, Narcissists want to be entertained and enjoy every single moment they have. Unfortunately, unlike most people, narcissists' way of entertaining themselves is by making others feel miserable and worse in an abusive manner. All they want is to feel good, and to achieve that, they find someone they can put up with. However, when they see you as difficult to make as entertainment, they find others like them who will help them get you to entertain themselves. Number 4. You threaten to expose their lies and manipulations. Narcissists have so much trickery on their sleeves, from lies to manipulations. They have come up with all these things to secure that they can have their never-ending narcissistic supplies. When an intelligent person knows everything about these deceitful schemes, they will try to stop that person from revealing their true intentions. They will do their best to cut you off as the source of information to prevent their image from being sabotaged by you. As I have mentioned, narcissists are incompetent, so they ask favors from their fellows and gang up on you. If you are someone who knows too much about them and their lies, you better be careful and prepare yourself from being ganged up. Number 5. You do not play by their rules. Narcissists want to gain control over everyone around them. They set rules that do not apply to them to control the game. They will gang up on you when you refuse to go against their rules and resort to violence. They cannot stand anyone who does not play by their rules. They want to ensure they have complete control over your life, and if anything goes against them, they will do everything in their power to put you back in your place. They make lies for you to feel bad about yourself because it makes them feel better about themselves. Since they are incompetent and insufficient, they boss around everyone they see on their way. They want someone else around who can take care of things for them. If you are resistant enough from their control, they may as well keep you away from their controlled ones so you will not influence them. Number 6. They do it as an act of revenge. Narcissists spend much time maintaining their false sense of self. They make masks to preserve their picture-perfect images. When you expose the reality of who they are, they will be hurt and enraged and held you responsible for their downfall and shame. 
human as they are, they will take revenge for what you have done to them. Since they cannot take you one on one, they will gang up on you. They will recruit individuals who have hatred against you and proceed to take their vengeance. They will use every manipulative scheme they hold up on their slaves to take you down. Number 7. You are a threat to the narcissist's agenda. As I have mentioned, narcissists must satisfy their needs to live every day of their lives. They use their charm as an impression to trap someone and make the source of their supply. When their charm cannot enchant you, they proceed to another one, and the cycle continues. When you happen to be a protector of humankind's well-being, you pose a threat to narcissists' agenda. Your instincts suggest you do everything possible to protect people from being hurt, oppressed, and abused by others. And like you, narcissists will also do everything they can to wipe you out of their way so they can proceed to their evil agendas. Seeing their incapabilities to keep you away from going against their way, they will mobilize a team to help them. You better be careful. Number 8. They do not like your independence. As I have mentioned, narcissists are not self-sufficient beings. They cannot live independently because they need someone to loot for their narcissistic supplies. Narcissists are envious people who are insecure about themselves, so they need constant praise and validation from others. Seeing your independence threatens them so they make ways to bring you down and be dependent on others or them. You will see gaslighting, hoovering, projecting, and other manipulation tactics displayed to bring you down to their level. If you can live by yourself, keep your circle in check and spot the narcissist away from you. Number 9. They want to get rid of you. When they want something, narcissists get it in every possible way they can and they will get it. There are instances that they will get rid of people when they see them as a competitor. For example, a narcissist is aiming for the promotion given to the top performing individual in your company. When they see that you are performing better than them, you are a threat to achieving their goal. So they make ways to sabotage your performance to eliminate you from the competition. The worst case scenario is that they will make a way for the company to fire you. But as I have mentioned, if they cannot take you one on one, they will recruit others to help them achieve their goal in any possible way. Number 10. They want to draw the attention of others as a narcissistic need. It is very intriguing for people when someone proposes a rally against one. Kinging up could be one of the narcissist's ways to draw attention from people who are not involved in the issue. Known for their insecurities, they harbor and loot narcissistic supplies to satiate their constant need for attention and admiration from others. Once they have attracted the attention of others, they will execute a drama and reflect their wrongdoing to you. They use this technique to shift the blame on others. This kind of activity is known as projection. Narcissists hate to be alone in their misery. When they get sick, they want someone around who will listen to them, complaining about how horrible it is. They want someone to use as their source of narcissistic supply. When they fail to capture you with their picture-perfect images charm, they will use a bad way to keep you at bay. The more people join in on the attack, the harder it is for you to defend yourself or escape. The things listed above are some of the many reasons why narcissists are ganging up on you. If you can relate to some of those things, be sure to ready yourself from being ganged up. Thanks for spending some time with us today.